It was an early afternoon. Janet was standing by her locker waiting for her girlfriend Susan to show up. When she suddenly felt someone tapping on her shoulder, she jumped up and quickly turned around and saw was her friend Danny. Danny was her childhood friend and best friend. Danny, you're scaring me like that. Whoa, sorry Janet, I, I, it was not my attention. Are you waiting for Susan, Bunny Chance? Yeah, I am. Do you know where, when she would show up? Um, I saw her by her locker about a couple of minutes ago, so she might be here. Ah, so are you heading home? Yeah, I am. I had some dude has some shorts to do at home, as always. <laughs> he said a big smile. And I assume you and Susan are going out for a date, perhaps? Well, it's not like a date, more like just hang out, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, you two have all been dating for about a year now, and you two haven't even, you know, been celebrating your one year anniversary yet? No, I mean, being busy with schoolwork, homework, and, you know, short at home, it always takes time. But we were planning to do our one year anniversary this um this Saturday actually. Oh that sounds, sounds that sounds great. Um any plans though? I mean what do you had in mind to, to do? Oh, um I'm not so sure yet. I mean a little bit short of money though, know, so I might not even be able to go to the movies or 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 a nice restaurant for her. You know, you can always have something to do with dinner at home or maybe at her place. I don't think she would even mind if you took her to a pizzeria or just something. Yeah, but I want to be make it special, you know. I hear you. I mean, you two were just great. I even remember the day when she walked up to you when you're sitting by your locker like this and she asked you, if you two can talk for a moment and you know when she asks you out <laughs> yeah i was not expecting her to even ask me i mean i known her since the first year of high school i mean it was shocking wasn't it you tell me that right said danny well i should probably head out and i will see you at school tomorrow yeah see you tomorrow see ya then he walked away Janet was standing by locker just a little bit, a couple more minutes bef until Susan actually showed up. Hey, sweetie, she said with a smile. Oh, sorry if I had to be waiting. Ah, that's fine, said Janet with a smile back. Are ready to go? Sure am. So both Janet and Susan left school and they just walked into town, just to a cafe, just grabbing something to eat and then uh, just walked around, just having a good time. Even though this wasn't like an official date, but to them, they were like a date. Ah, <sighs> something wrong? Asked Susan. No, nothing is wrong. I just, I wish we could spend more time together. Yeah, and I understand, said, said Susan. By the way, do you have any plans for the weekend? Um, not, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, my parents are usually at home at weekends, so... Ah, makes sense. Yeah. How about we have something to do on Saturday? Susan asked. Um, what did you have in mind? Well, we could perhaps go to the movies. I, I would love to, but I don't have much money anymore. I spent a lot of money this, this past week. And even if I ask my parents for, for more allowance, but... They won't even give me the next month, which is uh, its terrible for me, though. Don't mind it, Dad. I can pay for you. Wait, are you sure? And I won't have been the lion to be paying for much of that, said Janet. Don't worry. I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I get up. I used to receive my allowance from my parents. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't like, I don't mind it. Are you sure, though? Yeah. Great. Um, by the way, what, what kind of movie are you thought we can want to go on and watch? Hmm, how about a horror movie? Horror? You know I not can handle horror movies, said Janet with a big grin. I'm just teasing you. 
Mm, how about a little romance or something? You know what? I can look it up the, when I get home and text you when I, what a type of movies they are going to be viewing on that, being shown right now. That's fair. They both gave each other a hug and they went part ways. When Janet came home, usually her parents are often at work. Since her parent, her dad works at a construction company and her mom works as an office worker. And even though her family is a bit wealthy, but they are usually don't at home as much. They are usually often are busy with work and usually get home late, sometimes around 9 or perhaps even 11 p.m. at a time, but that happens. But on rare occasions, either her mom gets home a bit earlier, that depends on the rare occasions. And her dad, well, since he is the owner of the construction company, he usually gets home sometimes at maybe 10 p.m. or perhaps even past midnight or perhaps it's early morning. It depends on what type, what type of projects they've been working on. But even though that she, even though the only child in her family, she has an older brother named Matthew. He's 24, he's about six years older, and he moved out when he finished high school a, year, a few years earlier. Even though that Janet's family is a bit wealthy, they don't have any staff or any servants like that, but since Janet had often been has been taught by her older brother how to take care of things like how to cook some easy meals, how to do some chores and all that. So when she got home, she actually was a bit surprised to see her mama's home. And this was around 3 p.m. in the summer times. Hey mom, are you home early? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I actually have a little bit I could actually have a little bit of Day off from today? Oh, yeah, I get home about. I got home about maybe ten minutes ago. Oh, um, do you know when if Dad will get home later? You know, as usual, past midnight or something. Um, actually, no, he will be home about five. Actually, that was one of the few things about her dad, since Janice is the owner of the construction company. He usually, most of the time, gets home around 10 or past midnight. But a rare occasion that he actually shows up at much earlier than that, around 6 or maybe it's 8 p.m. But 5 is one of the rarest occasions that she even remember. In fact, it has only happened only a handful of times that he even got home past 6 or even at 6 p.m. Um... May I ask why Dad is getting home so early? You know, he usually don't get home until much later on, though. Well, you see, your dad has an old friend from the same com from the same company. He is actually inviting him, his his friend and his wife and their son, Jason. Jason. All right. Jason was a friend, a son of one of Janet's dad's friends, and he was. He was in the same high school as her. He went to a different high school. But they have ill occasion times met during family dinners or even or even party uh, company parties or something like that. Oh, is there any particular reason? No, we just uh, thought maybe to invite them for dinner. Oh, okay. Well, I would just grab something to eat to eat and do my homework. Okay, sweetie. Janet went to the kitchen, grabbed something to eat, and went to her room to take care of her homework. After she finished home the homework, she actually went to the local movie theater's website to see if there was any particular movies that she wanted to watch. Luckily for her, there were no horror movies available to be was on the show at that time, which to her was a, a, very much a relief. She saw there was one action movie, one sci-fi movie, and even a romance. And she texted the both the, all the names of the action, sci-fi, and the romance movie to, to Susan. And Susan thought, why not this, the romance? After all, they both loved the romance type of movies, so they both said yes. And later in the afternoon, in the evening, around 
5 p.m. or around 6 p.m. actually, shortly after that, um, Sue Janet's dad came home from work. Suddenly, her mom called for it was dinner, and when she went downstairs, she actually found that Jason and her and his parents actually had arrived, and they were talking. And she walked up to Jason and said hello, and to say to his parents the same thing. This was not a rare occasion either, because sometimes uh, Janet's dad invites some of his colleagues over for dinner, mostly even his boss, uh, his best friend, a couple times. So this is not the first time Janet and Jason have actually met. So, Janet asks Janet Jason's dad, how is high school going for you? Oh, it's going great, actually. I mean, my grades are good. I have... A lot of good friends. Even my old best friend Danny is actually going there. Oh, is he a uh, your boyfriend? <laughs> no, he's just my he he's just my childhood friend. Yeah, Janet Janet Danny are really close friends. Actually, said Janet's mom. He he she says see him. He's like um uh, how is he like a brother? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we are the same age and be. And he lives in the same neighborhood, just a, a few houses down, and we actually been this, just close friends. I mean, I never even saw him so romantically, though. Oh, oh, I mean, okay, that's that's good to know. Janet was a little curious to know exactly why that was good to know. But during the dinner, it was just normal. They have conversations about their school, about their potential future plans, or what they thought, what they wanted to do. But then, suddenly, Jason's dad asked Janet something, which made her big shocking. So, Janet, how do you feel about marrying my son after I finish high school? Wait, what? Marry Jason? Um, I'm not so sure about that. I mean... It's just so sudden. Well, I mean, Janet said her dad. I thought about this. It was this. This is something that you would me and your mom had talked about for a while now. And since Jason is a good-looking young man and he is, uh, he seems to like you, and we thought, why not? Why not? Why not to have this arranged marriage? She couldn't believe it. Her both her parents actually had arranged a marriage for her but since she was 18 she had a birthday only about a couple of months ago and she's going to finish high school this this just this summer and she, even though she didn't have any plans for college or something but she couldn't believe it um that you probably should at least tell me about it oh i thought that we did her mom's like I thought we did, but if we didn't, well, well, Dad, I'm, I'm not so sure. Janet, you're going to do what we tell you to do. At least think about it, all right? I don't understand this is just sudden for you, but at least why not you two spend some time, get to know each other? How about you, you two going on a date tomorrow, or perhaps on Saturday? But Dad. I have plans already for Saturday. What kind of plans? I mean, me and Susan are going out to see a movie together. Ah, Susan. Well, you can always arrange the next time. But we only set the plan for this week. We only, we only plan this for the whole week, Dad. And you can't make me arrange that. Susan, Janet, you will do it. No, Dad. I mean, I can go out with I can go out with uh, Jason tomorrow on a Friday. I mean, I don't have any plans for tomorrow, and after all, my I finished school the day of school tomorrow around 1 p.m., so I have a lot of more time to spend with him, rather from on a Saturday, right? I mean, I'm sure he ends his school day around 1 p.m. as well, don't you? Uh, yeah, actually I do, and I don't have any plans, so it works for me as well. Oh, that's it, that suits it, said Jason's dad with a big smile. Well then, he will pick you up around at your school around 1 p.m. then. Uh, Alright. So, after dinner, 
Then he said goodbye to his to Jason and his family, and Janet went to her room. She couldn't believe all about it. In fact, she immediately called Susan. Hey, Janet, is about, about about the Saturday? Uh, I have something to tell you. Are you sitting down? Maybe. Uh, yeah. What's the matter? Then she spilled the beans. Say what? Said. Susan, a big shocked. And you're actually going to do that? No, no, no. I mean, I had to go on a date to tomorrow with him, but it's not like an official date. I don't think he even interested me in the same thing because, based on what I looked at him when he told me this, when I, when I, what his dad told me, I think he's even a shock as well. I mean, I don't think he even had any idea that this supposed arranged marriage was even happening. And in fact, I thought that Jason even had a girlfriend already. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? I mean, I thought that he was dating one of our one of our friends. Um Lisa, I believe? Yeah, they are actually been dating for about the same time as us, it's about a year. Oh. Well, I mean, I had to do it anyways. I mean, don't worry, I'm not cheating on you. Oh no, I don't worry about that. So the next day, around 1 p.m. after school, Janet was standing outside school waiting for Jason by his for his car. And when he did show up, they actually drove over to the to have a, a dinner at town and then just walk around. But as just to be curved to be just being confirming with something that is suspicious, um, Jason, um, yeah, um. What is your opinion about this supposed arranged marriage that our parents talked about yesterday? Oh, that, um, I'm not so much keen about it. And as much as you know, I'm already had a girlfriend already. Yeah, Lisa, right? Yeah, one of your friends. And I know about you and Susan. Yeah. I cannot even believe our parents would even consider this without even asking us beforehand. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm probably worth telling my my parents that's not happening. I mean, I probably would even felt the same thing. <sighs> to be enhanced, I probably say they might say, Oh, by the way, you will start falling in love with her after you start dating her more longer and get married. But can you actually be in marriage with someone in marriage in a marriage? If you don't even love the person, that will be like quite awkward, don't you think so? Yeah, I agreed. I mean, I love Lisa more than, than anything else, Jason. So both agreed to go on more of these fake dates, and after maybe about a month or so, they decided to make it more to zoo, declare to both families that they were not even interested to be with each other. That would be something they planned. And they were hopefully this will continue and planned as well. After they got home, Susan and Janet told his parent her parents later on that the date went well and they are decided to go out for just for maybe for a little bit longer, just to see if there was there were any just to get to know each other better, since they don't go to the same school and they don't interact with each other so much. And her parents was actually happy about to hear this. But it was just something that pretty much turned inside her heart. That Saturday, Susan and Janet went on their movies to mark their one year anniversary. Even afterwards, they went to a small diner just to grab something to eat and talked about it. They could still not believe any of this. And Susan asked, have you told your brother about this? No, I haven't. I think, I think your brother might be... Um, how say it? Live it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I pretty much. I believe he will be that," said Su Janet. Afterwards, they went to said goodbye to each other, and that said happened. But a month later, as planned, Janet and Sus Jason were planning to tell both the sides of families that this relationship wasn't happening. It wasn't working. And when Janet told her parents during dinner, when they asked her how 
how things are going between her and Jason. She said, well, I'm sorry to tell you this, Mom, Dad, but we are not going to be dating at all. What? Said her mom. Why not? I mean, he's a good-looking young man. And his dad is working the same. I know, Mom. But have you even thought of what I really want to do, though? I mean, what if he actually found someone else? That's not happening. We already had made our mind. You and Jason will get married. Pointed. But that there is no buts, said her dad angrily. I have put so much into this, and even his dad agrees me, agrees with me on this, and even his wife. But dad, if I ask this, how would you feel, would you be in a marriage with mom even if you didn't love her and if she didn't love you? Would you even, how would it even be like a marriage? Her mom actually looked at her and then back at her dad and it's like, even if it was true, but it was back then. Back then. I mean, what have you done? Would you do it? Would you be married with someone you even like? Or even de even despite so much? Despite you to be only make your, your parents happy? And his? Do you think how happy you would have been? You two probably would even fight a lot then. But it didn't happen, sweetie, said her mom. But I'm not going to marry Jason. That's the point of it. You will marry him, said her dad angrily. Dad, that's my, that is our final word, he said and slammed his hand to the table. That made her shake. After that, she, she kept quiet. But she wasn't planning to even be Jason. The next day at school, Danny saw that his best friend, Janet looked a bit sad, or at least down for some reason. Hey, Janet! How's it going? Oh, hey, Danny. Whoa! What's the matter? Did you get bite your, in your hand again? She's like, what cat? There was just an expression. But tell me, what's the matter? <sighs> you know, I have been a lot in a bad position right now. What is it? You know the guy, Jason, that's dating our friend Lisa right now? Uh, yeah, actually, nice guy, yeah. His parents and my parents had made us in this arranged marriage after we had finished high school. Say what? Seriously? Yep, it is true. If you don't believe me, you can always ask Susan. She believes that I know you had never, you never lied to me before. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I mean, you're 18, and did they say exactly when you were supposed to marry him? No. I mean, they said something sometimes after high school. I don't think they like literally during the day, the day after high school. I mean, I mean, we had to do something about this. I can't do it. Well, you had to do something about it. There are only a couple of ones left until. This. I know. I know. I may have to ask my brother for this, for help. Y your brother? Matthew? Yeah, he, he might be have something to do. I mean, he might have something to help me with. Yeah, that's something. Thanks. I... I will just try to do that, ask him for help. I think it's a good idea. So after they get home, she immediately called Matthew. She knows that he, that day was his day off. Hey, little sis! How's it going? Has been a while I heard from you. Hey, Matthew. Um, do you have a moment for you? Anytime. What's the matter? Well, are you sitting down? Uh, should I? There's something that you might be a little bit worried now. Yeah, you may have right to be worried. Okay. Um, I'm in an arranged marriage. It was a silent there. For what understand not understanding is that Matthew was one of the few people that actually knew about Janet to be with Susan. Even though that she has tried herself multiple times to try to tell 
her parents about her and Susan being in a relationship, but since they are often so busy at the work and getting home so late, it's usually sometimes she is either, either, either already in bed or something else. You are telling me our parents have made you in an arranged marriage with someone else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. How in a world can they ever think like this? Does Susan know? Yeah, she knows. And she's scared for me. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Well, did they tell you when? Yeah, sometimes after I finish high school. Okay, this gives us at least a few months to figure out a way to stop this. Yeah, but I don't know what to do. I mean, I have no idea what what to do. Of what what to do to end this. Hmm. Well, it could have been a potentially, but if you somehow got married with Janet and with Susan earlier, you mean like before high school ends? Exactly. I mean, she's eighteen right now. Um, uh, yeah, she actually had her birthday only about a few months before me. So yeah, we both of us are 18. And that makes sense, right? And since Susan's mom is a lawyer, right? Um, yeah. Well, how about if you did actually have a wedding? Wait, a wedding? I mean, do you know how much time to be in focus on that? Not necessarily. I mean, if you want to have those big type of weddings, I mean, think about it. If you just have, if you've had a small wedding, just you two and a, a priest and maybe two witness. Hmm. I mean, it's a good idea. I might ask her. Yeah, but even so, you have to think about it soon. Otherwise, you're maybe out of tr out of the, any other opportunities. Right. I will tell her. And, wait, I will call her right now, and I will call you back as soon as possible. Go ahead, I will be waiting, I will be waiting for you. Then she hung up and called Susan. And when she told Susan about this idea, they actually had talked about getting married at some point after high school. But since they probably wanted to have a big wedding, but, but since this was probably the only way to stop this, she wasn't sure if Susan would agree. If Susan would agree on this idea. But to her surprise, she actually was okay okay with that type of idea. And since then, it wouldn't necessarily much need time to arrange. If they wanted to have a big wedding, it would take much longer time, more wedding planning and all that, and it it would eventually, eventually, her parents would have found out. But if you had a small wedding, just do two of them with two fr two friends, or maybe two or three witnesses, and and something. So they both agreed to do this. So along since there was just a couple since this weekend, they have nothing to plan. So Susan said, Janet said to Susan that she would have been coming over to her house. Ask Susan's mom, who is a lawyer, for help. So that it did happen. After her call with her Susan, she called Jen back to Matthew, informing him about this, and he agreed. If he need, if she needed a witness, he would be that. And she knows Danny would definitely would be the second witness. And that same weekend, Janet went over to see Susan and her mom, and they talked about this. Luckily for her mom, Susan's mom, she agreed to help them. Because she couldn't even believe that Janet's parents are trying to make her in a, in a marriage with someone that she doesn't even like. Another detail is that that guy was also, also in a relationship with someone else. So they actually went to the city hall to have this marriage, su 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 uh, marriage papers already filled in. And after that, 
it was fictional, but now they needed to do the wedding ceremony. Luckily, Susan's mom actually knew a friend that works as a priest, and they asked the friend if there was any possibility for her to win soon enough. And luckily for them, it was a spot open only about two weeks later. And it did happen. So both Janet and Susan was really nervous now that they're actually getting married before even school was over. But they kept this a secret to just themselves and of course Danny and Matthew were the only ones who knew about it. Because if they told a few more people, they had no idea how far this could have been spreading and eventually this could have reached Janet's parents and it was something that they couldn't even be in risk to do. So that same weekend, Susan and Janet along with Susan's mom went to this bridal shop just to try some white dresses and after they found someone, uh, after they found the dresses they wanted, they actually took them to Susan's home and store them there. And even they went the next two more weeks, they were so excited and and even with some times when Janet's mom and dad asked why she looked so nervous about. She was just said, Oh, I just nervous for to finish high school, that's it. Which normally they were gonna stand because they said they were so nervous and nervous themselves. And as the two more weeks went, just went to wait for, she was any more nervous. Only a couple of days later, Janet went over to see her brother at his place. I don't know if I can actually do this. Well, this is only option, he said. Think about it. If you don't go through this, you will eventually end up in, a, in this marriage with Jason. Something that you don't even want to. And it seems like despite how much you're telling our parents they you didn't want this, they won't even listen. It's, I do think they may even the same thing as what chase them if he tried to tell his parents. Yeah, he told me that he tried to telling his parents at least about two or three times that he wasn't at first that he wanted to get married with me since we didn't know we didn't like each other, but his parents just told him you had to spend more time in order to get to know her better and start liking her. I, I mean, he could just telling them that he has a girlfriend already. But if he did, he might likely just been told to break up with her so that she can so that he can be with you. And I don't think he didn't want to do that happen. No. And I mean, if mom and dad find out that I actually had a girlfriend, I have no idea how they would even react. Uh I know for exactly what how to react. Oh? Um, when I was in high school, around the same age as you, I had a friend. Um, I don't think you remember her. Um, Jessica. Oh, her. She was a nice girl. Yeah. She was dating this girl named... What was her name? Um, Sarah, actually. They start dating, and... When I mentioned this to my parents once, just... They were show somehow show disgusted faces like, how can they do that? That's not natural. They should break up and marry a man. That was supposed to be. I can't believe it. They actually said that. Yeah. But what happened between yes again, Sarah? Though, <laughs> well, they're married. Wait, seriously? Yep. They only break up. We got married only a few years after high school, but they're just happy. I'm glad to hear that though, but I just, I cannot believe it. Don't, don't judge for what they believe. But what parents believe is something. But trust me, it will go well. And he was right. But since, since then, it's only a one cup after more down. Two more weeks went and it was only a couple of days left. Like two days before the actual wedding. Susan and Janet was getting more nervous now. And as one day when that, only the day before, only two days before the wedding, Susan was actually over at Janet's place and they were just sitting in her room watching some TV. They were home alone. 
as Janet then leaned over to see her in, in Janet's eyes. I can't wait for this, she said. Same here, as Susan looked at her beloved Susan in her dark brown hair, and as Janet was having her chocolate brown hair. But then, two days later, both Susan and Janet went to the church along with Susan's mom and Matthew and Danny in his in Matthew's car to follow up. They were so nervous, and in fact, Matthew was still being asked to lead Janet up to the, to the altar, which in tradition, but even though Susan's dad wanted to come over, but he couldn't. He had a lot of busy with his um, his company. Susan's dad was the CEO of an IT company, so, but that was okay for her. At the wedding, though, it was just great deal. After the priests had performed the ceremony, after they sealed the kiss, like, then it was official. Now Susan and Janet was a married couple. There was one way to sing that they, how they would end it. But there's one small detail that they had to finish to figure out. Now they were married. There was one other small detail they had to, to figure out. What to do about this future arranged marriage. Since the school, the high school was going to be finished around only about a month later. And now they were married. They still had to live a different, separate, separately, or just confront the parents about this, this honest truth. So, they decided to arrange so that they could live separately. But luckily for, for Susan's mom, she actually had an apartment in town that she sometimes used, sometimes it used. She was willing to give that apartment to Susan and Janet as their own place. And it wasn't that hard. Janet, along with Danny and Matthew, shortly after the wedding, started to move some of her own belongings over to that apartment. And it wasn't much things that they wanted to do. There were only some, some personal belonging, clothes, childhood childhood items but some of the furniture like bed dresser didn't need that since that were all the things already there and her parents had asked her why she why some of her things was gone she made a story that she had thrown some of the she had donated some of her childhood things to charity or just give it away since she wouldn't even need it anymore that makes sense her parents said with a big smile they believed that this was a, a first step of her to actually start to recognize her marriage with Jason. But then, just the day on the actual ceremony at the high school, shortly after the ceremony was over, Janet walked over to Matthew and Jay, uh, Danny along with Susan. They were just talking when then suddenly her parents walked up and they said congratulations to her and now they said now, we were going to get you half of the things to prepare for your wedding for, with Jason. Both Susan and Janet looked at each other, and Danny the same thing, and suddenly, as they were talking, Susan's mom and dad came over just to be seen to talk to their daughter when they overheard his conversation. But then Matthew started talking before anyone else could answer. Mom, Dad, that's not happening. What? What do you mean? Of course she's gonna marry Jason. No, she's already married. What? Wait, did you marry Jason in a, in a secret or something? No. Who did you marry then? Her. Susan? Are you kidding me right now? Her mom said. No, it's true. Said Susan angrily back. She and I are married. We actually got married only about a couple of weeks, about a month ago. We didn't want to have this uh, force her to marry someone else that she didn't even like. And they haven't even been dating, said Susan. Okay, I don't want to have this arranged marriage, this marriage that could be dissolved. Don't you dare, said suddenly Susan's dad angrily. 
How dare you? If my daughter's marriage is over, I'm gonna sue you for this. And who are you? I am Susan's dad. Oh yeah. Dad, you probably wanted to, want to, to argue with her dad. So what? He's probably a nobody. A nobody, he said. Dad, have you ever heard of Star IT Company, Bunny Tians? Star IT Company? Yeah, I heard of it. Susan's dad is the CEO of that company, and her mom is a lawyer. What? Her parents could not believe it. Turn out, Susan's family was even more wealthier than her own family. Wait, what? Are you are you freaking kidding me? No. And Dad, I'm not coming back home in any case. Of course you're coming home with us. Your daughter. And you still have your things at home. Mom, I have to be honest here. Do you know why those things was missing in my room? No, because you told them that you shared them, donated away. No, I took them to my new place where I'm going to live with Susan. What? Where? Is Brella you can pay that? I mean, you won't even pay for any of your money. No, because it's already taken care of. What? I'm actually going to help them with that, says Susan's mom. Since that apartment is still in my name, and I'm letting them to live there, so I pay the rent for them. But they don't even have work, said her mom, Susan's Janice's mom with a grin. We are going to look for work, and ask if you're going to work anywhere, her mom said with a grin. Dad, mom, how dare you, first of all. I knew about this because I was there at the wedding and I knew this. And you knew our own blood, this, our own son. You are not my son anymore. Back at you, Dad, or stranger. You can disown me and Janet how much you want it because, and honestly, we don't even care about you two. And we don't even care about you or your wealth. Be honest, I'm much happier without you, even if you're in my life anyways. Same here. And then, Janet said one thing before she left. I'm glad I had my wedding, and I'm glad that I even had you invited. Then, she smiled and just turned around and walked away. You will regret this, her dad screamed at them. But they didn't care. Shortly after they finished, they actually moved officially to their apartment, and sometimes afterwards, they actually started looking for a ride to home work. Janet, she started working at the grocery store, which was a well paid for her. Susan, she actually started working in a pet shop in town, since she loved animals so much. And in fact, even little times after this, Janet and Susan wanted to have her own family one day. And after being married for about almost three years, they wanted to start a family. Now they were just 21 and they thought it was the right time to do it. But there was only a slight problem. They were two both women. But, and it's a big surprise, Danny, he was willing to help them with this. And, so Susan decided to be get to be pregnant with the help of Danny, and it worked. They later actually have a daughter, which they named, which they named Jennifer. Both Janet and Susan could have been happier to be married. Now we've been married, but they have their own daughter. Even Matthew was now happy to be uncle, and Danny which also puts now the considers as the father figure to, to the daughter, but also a godfather. But only about three years later, Susan and Janet, and Janet have a second daughter. But this time, Janet got, got birth to that second daughter, which they named Harmony. Harmony and Jennifer was so just happy. And in fact, they had the same father. 
Shortly after that, their daughter was just only a couple of years old. Janet and Susan was actually a bit worried that about Janet's parents. They had talked about to even allow them to, to meet their granddaughters. Since Susan's parents were such happy to have two just beautiful granddaughters. So Janet reached out to her parents by a text message, email, and a letter telling them that she is willing to let them to meet their granddaughters. Matthew did the same thing by over text message and even tried to call them. But they only sent the same answer. We don't want to see them because you are not our daughter anymore. Don't contact us, please. So that was that. That makes the end of her family bond with her parents over. Even though only a couple of years later, they tried again. When, when Jennifer was about 10, and same thing. They didn't want to have nothing to do with the supposed granddaughters. Because to them, they don't have a daughter anymore. So Janet told Susan that after the second attempt, they were not going to try attempt again. But if they will try to reach out to them themselves to see their granddaughters, perhaps then they would consider it to let them see Jennifer and Harmony. But as time went on, Janet's parents, they never even tried to contact her to even want to see her daughters, their granddaughters. And even when Jennifer, when and even Harmony was a bit older, around 10 and 12, when they asked why haven't they ever met their grandparents? Janet and Susan at first they didn't know how to explain, but their uncle Matthew told them that simply because they didn't they didn't love their mom anymore, and they didn't see them as their granddaughters. And both Harmony and Jennifer was like, that's sad. But at least they wanted to be in talk to them. So they tried. Janet actually went over there with Susan and Matthew with Harmony and Jennifer to let them meet her good grandparents. At first, their mom wasn't actually wanting to even to talk to them. But when she saw Harmony and Jennifer, it was something like it changed in her mind. It was something like something inside Janet's mom's heart melted. She smiled suddenly and let them in. When they were in the living room, Janet asked where dad is. Something that shocked both her and Matthew. So Janet's mom actually divorced their dad only about a few years earlier, around three years earlier. They were surprising that. And they ask why. Well, it turned out that their dad was still accused their mom for having their daughter brainwashed about this. That she was attracted to girls, not to boys as supposed to be. But over time, Janice's mom really wanted to see her daughter again and try to reconnect and even to see her granddaughters. But their dad was so firmly, as long as it was there, it was not happening. So, it was something that didn't happen. But another detail was that Janet's mom actually in secret had reached out to Susan's mom, which is a lawyer, to help. And Susan's mom actually helped with the divorce. She was like, what she did? Said Susan. I never heard of that. Me either, said Janet. Maybe that she was not... Maybe she wasn't supposed to do. That's correct, said Janet's mom. But I'm so sorry, girls. I'm I'm so stupid. I can't even believe what actually my what your dad did. I really wanted to meet my granddaughter so much. But mom, you could at least told me and you could have gone to my to our place. Or we could have meet up somewhere so you could actually meet them. So many times. That's true, said Matthew. You could have reached out to me or Janet or Janet 
We can meet at their place, my place, or anywhere. Yeah, but ever since you left like that, your dad was... He kept very much an eye on me. What? You're like... Well, he... He didn't trust me anymore afterward when he found out that Janet was into girls and now that they were married, he believed that I broke his trust and his... I wasn't even loyal anymore. And in fact, only a few, a few times he started to ask me or the, accuse me for being cheating on him shortly afterwards. He believed that Janet wasn't even his daughter at, at, at all. And he didn't even believe that you, Matthew, wasn't even his son either. What? Dad went so crazy that he didn't believe. I told him it was true. I didn't cheat on him. And if he wanted, I could just simply go take a DNA test to prove it. But he denied and still accused me of cheating. And that was the final when I decided to divorce him. So I asked Susan's mom after I while running to her in the grocery store one day, asked her for help for the divorce. I told her everything. She was agreed to help me, and did. And where is he now? She, Janet asked. Uh, he lives in his own place and still run this company. Um, do you know what happened to Jason? Oh, Jason, well, he actually did marry this girl named... Um, Lisa? Yeah, that's the word. Wait, how do you know? Well, Lisa is actually an old friend of mine from high school. They were actually dating at the time when I was, you know, made to date him. I didn't know that, her mom said. But once again, I'm so sorry. I know that this is made, must be the way too late for us forgiveness. I know that it might take time to for your to regain your trust and but I just I just want to tell you that. But we want to meet you and grandma, since Jennifer and Harmony almost both the same time. Oh girls But there is something else, isn't it? Matthew said. <sighs> yeah, there is. It turned out their mom was having breast cancer. Wait, uh, are you getting treatment? I am. But I have some bad news still. It's so bad, isn't it? She only nodded and said, yeah. How much time? doctor told me I have at least a year left to live. A year? But mom, you had to be trying to beat this. I know people can do it. It's okay, Janet, her mom said with a smile. And even she was crying a little bit. But then suddenly Jennifer and Harmony, who realized that cancer was a bad disease and that people die from it, they actually ran up to her, started hugging her, started crying, and said, Please, Grandma, don't die on us. They really want to meet, they want to spend more time with the grandmother. You see how much your, how much your granddaughter suddenly loved you? They want you to stay around for many years. You had to at least try to fight this, Mom. That's right, said Matthew. Mom, at least don't, don't do it for us. But do it for your granddaughters. That made her heart and mom cry more. And she promised that she would. And she did. Ever since that day, she started going to treat for more treatment. Even though it made her feel bad and sick. But Matthew and, Jan and Janet actually went over to see their mom when she was at home or at hospital. Even though they brought other... Jennifer or Harmony or both of them to see the grandmother. And even though that she was first given the pronounced diagnosis for only one year to live, and even though there was a very much a bad condition for her, but as she's getting more willing to fight this, this illness, 
it somehow gave her more hope. Because every time when she had the granddaughters over at her place or the hospital, it somehow sparked an interest in order to fight. She wanted to see her granddaughters grow old and even perhaps be there when they were getting married themselves. And after nearly a six months or more of this intense tr treatment and, all, and support from her family, they was given some big news. The cancer was almost gone. They has, she has started beating this even more because even when she had breast cancer, but it turned out even has spread to even her lungs. But with the only intense treatment she did, it started working. It started getting better. And even when Janet went to try to talk to her dad about this, but he had nothing to say. All he said, you are not my daughters. And even when she brought Sue, even when she brought Jennifer in harmony, but he didn't care. He just told her to take her and her daughters out of his office. He would never want to see them ever again. Before this Janet left, she said, this was your only chance to re to redeem yourself, mom has. I was willing to give you a chance to just to forgive us for what you did, but it seems you don't want even the heart to do that. It seems you're completely dark in your heart, cold heart, and then she left. That was the absolute last time she even saw or heard from her dad. Even though, at least her mom was getting better, and that was all she mattered to her. And after a while, after she made a full recovery from her treatments, Janet's mom moved out from the house and moved to a better, smaller apartment nearby so that she could spend more time with her daughter and her granddaughters. And eventually, Susan's mom knew about a man around the same age as Janet's mom and introduced them to her. And that man would, would eventually become Janet's new stepdad and she called him dad in fact she even considered him as her real dad since her biological dad didn't even care much of her anymore and even matthew called her they called him dad and the granddaughters even though they knew that this man wasn't their biological grandfather but they started calling him grandpa which he didn't mind he already had at least a granddaughter of his own already but for Susan and Janet, this was just something that they both really wanted to. Because even shortly after that Jennifer was born, she had told Susan that she wished that her mom or dad or perhaps both could for could forgave them. That they could just pass, see past of what they'd done. See what what their wrongdoings were. So they could accept for who Janet were and accept that granddaughter. But even after when Harmony was born, and even when then, it didn't work. It was the turn out also that every time when this the message that said we don't want to see them ever again, that was their their it was their dad who said it. She find out that, that their mom had nothing to answer this. But at least, both Susan and Janet were just happy to be with the one they loved the most and have two beautiful daughters together and that Janet's mom was born back in their lives again as their family. For because Janet, after all this time, she had no idea what how to believe in. She was afraid that none of her parents would even want to go back to her. To even accept who she were and but despite having susan matthew danny and even susan's parents as a support other extended family from Janet's side of family like her grandparents cousins or others they had accepted her relationship her marriage with susan and they even accepted in susan and jennifer and harmony as part of the family and this is how 
Janet and Susan from the True Love got a big family together. The end.